Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to show you how to remove your menstrual cup. I've had so many questions on it ever since I uploaded my how to insert a cup, and for some reason I didn't even think to make one on how to remove a cup because I thought the most difficult part for me was inserting, so thank you for letting me know that you guys had some issues with removing because now I'm gonna show you how to remove it. Okay, I'm gonna get really comfortable here, crossing my legs. Once you have your cup inside of you, the one tip that I gave in my first menstrual cup experience was if you have issues of just sticking your fingers up there and trying to grab it, my first tip was to get off of the toilet and squat to the ground. Now if you're gonna do that, make sure you're at home because you don't wanna be squatting in the public bathroom where people could, you know, they can see under the stalls. People might just see your whole shebang. So, don't be squatting in a public bathroom. Squat at home. Squat at home and get your hands in there and try to grab at it because squatting brings this cup just a little bit closer. Now, that sometimes still is very difficult because it is suctioned inside your body. So what the Diva Cup manual says that you do is you stick your finger up and you break the seal by pushing against this thing and it breaks the seal. For me, that has not worked for me at all. I can't seem to do it. I don't know why, but if you if it works for you guys, try it out, stick your finger up there and try to just push against it to break the seal and then grab and then pull it out. That has never worked for me yet, but try it out if the other methods don't work for you. So the final method for me is to sit on the toilet. This is the best part, guys, but this honestly works so well for removing the cup for me. So sit on the toilet. This might take a little bit of brain power, but sit in the toilet and basically pretend that you're pooping. Yeah. You heard me right. Pretend that you are pooping. So do the poop flex is what I like to call it. Maybe I'll put an emoji. The poop flex. And that muscle flexing motion seems to push the cup. It literally pushes the cup like pretty much the opening. So yes, if you are gonna poop with a cup inside of you, I find that sometimes it does push the cup closer. So sometimes if I am gonna be doing the number two, I do have to take my cup out and re-insert. Sometimes, not all the time. But in this case, if I am going to remove it, I do do the poop flex because it does bring the cup so much closer. So this is the opening. The cup honestly comes from here down to here for me. Like, not at the opening, but like basically right here. Can you guys even see that? So right here. So all I have to do is stick my fingers in just a little bit and I grab at it and I squeeze the bottom like this. It doesn't necessarily break the seal, but because the cup is so close to the opening already, I literally wiggle it like this and I just pop it out. But as I'm pulling it out, I, let me think about this really quick. At the angle that I pull it out from a top, I think like if I'm sitting up here, I think I pull it out like this but then I, I pull it down like that, so then the cup sits like that. Does that make sense? Legs here, I'm sitting up here. Cup is coming out like that. I squeeze it. I lean it down just a little bit, and then I pull it down like that again. And there we go. Cup and no spillage. I haven't really analyzed it that hard. But that is how I get my cup out. I know some people are uncomfortable because of the suction, but for me, it hasn't. Because I'm doing the poop flex, the suction doesn't seem to bother me when I pull it out. I feel like if you're not flexing and you're trying to pull it out, you're gonna feel like your insides are gonna come out because of the suction. Um, but if you're doing the poop flex, it's it's not that bad. So yeah, I'm not sure if I missed out on anything, but that's pretty much how I remove it. If you guys have tips on how you remove it to make it easier for other people to try, leave your method down below in the comments for other people to read. And if you are trying the methods that I'm telling you today and they work out well, please let me know down below because I would love to know. I just share with you guys whatever works for me and hopefully it works for you. So let me know how this goes. If you guys have any other questions with the menstrual cups, let me know and I'll be sure to make a video on it. I am actually in the process of contacting other menstrual cup companies just to, not that I have an issue with this one, but this is the Diva Cup, which is the most popular, I believe, for people to try. But I want to try other menstrual cups to see if there's any differences, if it's easier to remove, if it's easier to insert, if it, you know, lasts longer. Because 
Although I've mastered this cup, for some reason as of the past week, I did have some leaking issues. Not exactly sure why. It could be the fact that the cup isn't the right shape for my cervix because certain shapes work work better for certain people, but yeah, as I've told you guys in the first video, there's different cup shapes, so sometimes it sits better. So this cup works for me, but sometimes once in a blue moon, I leak a little bit, but it's not enough for me to be like, oh my god, I want to change my cup. But I do want to try other cups just to give you guys options to try out. So if you guys have suggestions on cups that you would like me to try, I'll leave the name below. I will definitely see if they would like to send me a cup for me to try out and I can do a comparison for you guys. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope these tips helped you guys out and if you found this video helpful, please let me know with a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!